Hi everyone, I'm glad you've come to cook with Victoria. Today, we'll be sharing with you how to make coconut puff puff. You know, in my second video on this channel, I made puff puff, but it was a basic one. Now we're going to hype it up by adding coconut to it. And when I said we, I'm actually going to introduce to you my beautiful daughter, my one and only daughter, Temilolua. Temilolua, come on board. Yeah, viewers, this is my wonderful daughter, Temilolua. Hi, everyone. My name is Temi, and this is my mom. Yeah, and we look alike, right? Yes, we do. She is going to be in charge today. I'll just be helping out. So let me leave you with our chef for today, Temi. For today's recipe, we have 50 grams of desiccated coconut or coconut flakes, 2 tablespoons of evaporated milk, this is optional, 400 grams of flour, plain flour is recommended, 7 grams of yeast, 1 teaspoon of cinnamon, ground cinnamon, 1 pinch of salt, pinch of salt, 100 grams of sugar I'm using white sugar but you can also use brown sugar if you want 200 millilitres of water and 200 millilitres of coconut milk I'm going to prove my yeast using out of the 200 millilitres of water make sure it's warm water not hot water otherwise it will kill the yeast and I'm I'm also going to feed it with some sugar out of the 100 grams of sugar. This is how the yeast looks like after it's been after it's proven. It's like it's it's risen and it's firmly at the top. That's how you will know that it's active and it's alive. Let's move on to the next stage. In a clean mixing bowl, I'm going to add my salt and my cinnamon. And then I'm going to add my flour. I'm putting my flour on top of it so that the salt doesn't kill my yeast. The sugar. Coconut. I'm going to mix all together now. Just the dry ingredients. I've made a hole in the middle of all my dry ingredients. Before we go over our wet ingredients, if you haven't already, please subscribe and click on that notification bell to be the first to get notified when we upload a new video. And if you haven't liked, please like this video and share. Now I'll be adding my wet ingredients into the middle. First my coconut milk. Evaporated milk, and my yeast, and add in the water gradually. Now stop mixing. This is the consistency of everything mixed together. See, it might seem a bit grainy because of the desiccated coconut, but not to worry. Take note that I haven't finished my, that I didn't finish my water. Now I'm going to cover it with cling film and let it rise. So this is how it looks like after two hours, see, it's risen, it's double in size and then some 
bubbles at the top. If you're in a colder region, you can let it rise for longer, or you can just be checking to see if it's ready to, if you are ready to use it. For health and safety reasons, I'm going to call on my mum to help me fry. Now my mum is about to fry the puff puff using our hands, the traditional way. You can use coconut oil, sunflower oil, vegetable oil, olive oil, but definitely not palm oil. And if you like what you see, please give this video a thumbs up, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be the first to get notified when we upload a new video. You can see now that it's golden brown. Remember when you put them inside the oil to fry, make sure it's on a medium or low heat. Re prepare a bowl with kitchen roll on top to let it drain the oil. Second batch is going in and also remember your hand is the best tool for frying puff puff. Keep turning until evenly fried. Look at the puff puff. Wow. The aroma is so tempting. See? It's golden brown. It's bumpy on the top, but that's because of the coconut. It's light and it's so wonderful. And you can tell that it's crispy as well on the, on the top. Now let's break into one and see. Wow. So soft and spongy. Now let's taste. Look. Wow. This is delicious. Don't tell my mum, but this coconut puff puff has beaten hers hands down. Yes, Victoria is back. I hope my chef really tried, Chef Timmy. But did I hear say a coconut puff puff is better than mine? Did I? No, I bet not. Well, why don't you try this wonderful recipe at home? And let me know how it went by sending your pictures to my Instagram page. The, the, the link is in the description box. And why don't you like, comment down below, share, subscribe. Yes, it's right down there. And click on the notification bell that is right next to the subscribe button. So you can be the first to get notified when we upload a new video. Until next time, bye! bye.